Hello, welcome to AMAC and the Sword of Light, and today I'm going to be showing you where to get all the memory locations, just in case you had a hard time finding them. As I've marked them all on the map with stars, but I am going to be showing you how to directly get to them, starting with the sword. Because some of these can be pretty cryptic to where they're located. So, where we're going to find the uh, tier spot for the sword is going to be uh, where I marked it on the map. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to find them because some of these are uh, pretty cryptic to find. So, uh. Some of the uh, water spots. Maybe not the glyphs themselves are hard to find because they do stand out. But uh, some of like the uh, spots or whatever. So for uh, the teardrops. So for the sword glyph or the master sword glyph, as you call it, as I as I call it, you're gonna want to find the uh, drop right here. And that's where you'll find the first drop is right here. So now the second one we're going to do is the Rauru one. And I'll show you guys where exactly Dotto on the map like I did with the uh, Master Swords, so... And um, you guys can skip ahead a little bit in the video uh, if you need to find a certain one. I uh, haven't covered much of it you need. So, I'm new to this whole YouTube thing. So, I'm new to content creation. So, yeah. So, hopefully I'll get better at this stuff eventually. So, the second memory we're going to find is like the Rauru looking one. Looks exactly like Rauru, so that's why I call it that. Oh, and I see the star fragment right there. Nice. And you'll find this by a stable, so this one shouldn't be too hard to find. And you'll also get the Impa quest. So there is a quest that will give you a map for all the glyphs, but I ended up finding them without the quest. But uh, this is where you like, find Impa for that quest, too, by the way. So that is uh, pretty cool. You'll find Impa for that quest here, by the way, so... If you are wanting to do it that way, or you can just use this guide video, which uh, shows you the location of all of them, and you don't need to do that, so. I'll show you the location of all of them. And there you go, there's gonna be your second one, and I put the star right here, so you can pop it on your map, and there you go. That's the second memory. Now we're gonna be locating our third memory, which is the uh, Forgotten Temple. And uh, like what I'm doing, I'm just using the Sky Towers to uh, get there faster. Now, you don't have to go this way, but I would recommend it. It's just quicker to get here, so. Oh, and I would recommend bringing, um, kind of interrupt the video a little bit, but I'd recommend bringing, uh, this gear here, because, uh, there's another one we're gonna go to that's in the icy area, so, essentially the Rito area, and I would recommend bringing this anti-cold gear, so, you, uh, don't take a bunch of ice damage, so, a bunch of freeze damage. And yeah, you can dive to get down there faster.
So I did mark this one with a chest instead. You can mark it whatever you want, but. And there you go. That's where your second, that's where the next tier drop is gonna be. Sorry about that. And now we are gonna be heading towards our third one, which there is conveniently the next one. But there's conveniently a shrine right here that will get you to it pretty quick. Well, if you guys haven't picked up this shrine, I would recommend picking it up. So this one uh, really confused me when I was streaming it. Um, so this, this one inspired me to make this video. Because this one really confused me where it was at. And we spent like an hour trying to find it. So and that's what inspired this video. So I can help you guys out. So you guys have a much easier time than I did. But yeah, if you don't want to watch me run over there, it is like in this general area. So um, it's like in that area. But yeah, it should be somewhere around here. Here it is. Yeah. But yeah, it should be somewhere around here. I kind of forgot where it was at. But this one gave me a hell of a time. But now we're going to go to the Ganondorf memory. Alright, no, we'll go to this one next. We'll go to this memory next. And we're going to go from this guy to tower. Then we'll hit the Ganon memory. Oh, that's Courage Island, by the way. Uh, you can find a shrine there. And, uh, you can find a shrine there. That's pretty helpful. Well, you have to jump off the thing, but, yeah. I'll make a- I might make a video about that later. So, anyway, I would recommend, um, well, not everybody will have max stamina, so you probably can't all do- No, you probably- no, you probably can't all do this, but, uh... But, max stamina will help if you do have it, so I just want to mention that in the video, by the way, so... But yeah, like I said, uh, sorry about the length of the video. You guys can skip around if you need to. If it makes it easier for you guys to skip around and, uh...
And all right, so we're here. This one takes a little bit to get to, uh, a little bit of time, because you got to jump from the tower, so. Anyway, we're going to go to the spot as I mock, as we're going to go to the spot as I marked them on the map, to make them easy to find. There you go, that should be your next memory spot, and yeah. So the next one we're gonna go to is Slamendorf. In the Gerudo Canyon, so. And there you go, that's the uh, next memory location right there, so that should help. And now we're going to start on these over here, and then, yeah, that'll be the end of the video. And these last few, so let's get started. So the next memory we're gonna be on the football tower, and I do have a guide on how to unlock this tower for anyone who hasn't unlocked it yet. I do have a guide on how you unlock this, so for those who have not unlocked this tower, so And this one's going to be across from Lake Hylia, so, and it's also a uh, mini-boss up there, so, uh...
Yeah, there's another way to get to it. Um, I'll be careful just in case you run out of stamina. So, we're about to come up on the next memory. Uh, this one also took me a minute to find. If I remember correctly, this one also took me a minute to find it. Because it is on the side of, like, this mountain by, uh, Lake Hylia. But yeah, uh, the next memory should be up in this area. And, um, I'll show the map, too. So you can always kind of mark it if you need to, so... So I know this video is going to be a little long, and I am sorry about that. It'll probably be like a 25-minute video. 26 minutes, maybe. Hopefully not 26 minutes. And there you go, here's the next memory. Next Dragon Tier location slash memory. Whatever is easier for you to call it. So now we are gonna go do the West Nebula one next. Oh, my, I marked this one. Okay, I did. There is an enemy uh, camp here, by the way, so... Uh... So you will find this one smack dab in the middle of the uh, woods over here. And that will be your next one. So let's go to the uh, sword over here.
So the sword is going to be where uh, that one town was in the previous game. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, but... That's where you'll find the next memory, and that's where it will be at. There's also a quest that you can do here um, that I will be doing later on my stream, so... Yeah, this one took me forever to find. A lot of these did, so that's why this video is the, the speed of the process. Alright, now we're going to go get our last two, and that should be it for the video. So that's what we're going to do with the uh, shell. And, uh, well, I mean, technically last three. I guess I'll show you where the hidden one's at. But the game does show you it anyway. So it's a little redundant. Um, game does show you anyway. So it's a little redundant. But uh, I guess I will show it. Where the... Uh, hidden secret one is. Now we're going to go to the uh, Zora's domain area. And this is where we'll find the um, one that's like way off in the distance, so... Don't do that, by the way. I was not paying attention. Don't do that, by the way, but, um... Do not nosedive to your death, by the way. Yeah, don't nosedive to your death. I uh, stopped paying attention there for a minute. But, yeah, don't nosedive to your death. Unless you have the uh, glide armor, which I don't have, so... But, anyway, uh, let's see if we can find somewhere closer. Um... Okay, cool. Yeah, we found something closer. Okay. Oops. Yeah, don't uh, nosedive to your death like that. That's embarrassing. Uh. So, it should be in this area over here, and this is a faster way to get to it. So, uh, yeah, don't do what I did and nosedive to your death, though. So I uh, stopped paying attention for a minute. Sorry about that. A little nervous making this video. Hopefully it uh, does well, so... So this one is going to be located on this rock. So, uh... 
here you go there's the next memory and we're gonna go get the last one as the uh final memory uh, it will just tell you where it is or number 12 so or the uh, 12th one so So now we're gonna go to like the um, Death Mountain area, pretty close. That's where we're gonna find the uh, next memory we're about to pick up. This one uh, isn't particularly too hard to find, but I would include it in the video anyway, just to have them all. As this video is already going to be long, so maybe I'll add timestamps to the video. Yeah, maybe I'll add timestamps and. Um Alright, there you go, there's the next memory. And I will be showing you guys the 12th memory and where to find it. There's also a shrine over here, too. So, uh, this will be a quick way to get over there, so... Now, I'm sorry about the video being so long, but there is a lot to find, so... So, this will be where the last tier location is, as I didn't need to mark it, because it's the final one you get. And you can get a lot of Silent Princess here, so you want to farm those. Here you go. But anyway, alright, if you guys liked it and found this video helpful in any way, I would appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel, and have a nice day. See ya.